Hey everybody, I'm Dan McTier. Glad to be here. Um, every time I'm in a situation like this, I'm reminded of a poor life choice I made in college. Uh, we had to take public speaking. It was a required class, which I think is a great idea. The semester that I signed up for it, they happened to be offering it online. Um, <laughs> So in spite of understanding the irony behind that, I went ahead and signed up anyway. Um, so I'm going to dig really deep into all those experiences I've never had and use those to my advantage today. So I work for Adobe Digital Marketing. Um, for those who aren't familiar with that, uh, we actually process over 100 trillion transactions every year for our customers. More than two-thirds of Fortune 50 companies are our customers, and that includes um, eight of the top 10 internet retailers, all of the top 10 commercial banks, um, all of the major automotive industry um, manufacturers. So we have a pretty big customer base, um, pretty critical uh, things going on. Our customers exist in just about every market and every industry you can imagine. Uh, in 2016, we provided a report that predicted the um, the online sales for Thanksgiving and Black Friday and Cyber Monday within 99% accuracy. Um, so we have, we have our hands in a lot, of, a lot of different stuff going on online. Um, if you've ever been onto um, like a major TV premiere, uh, cable provider, um, channel like uh, HBO or something like that and ask for your cable provider, that's one of our products. Uh, if you've ever um, streamed the Super Bowl on a mobile device, also one of our products. So our product suite is made up of more than 23 different digital marketing tools, and those are built and maintained and operated by over 50 different teams, developers, operations staff, uh, and those teams, we, we, we like to embrace diversity, right, at, at Adobe. Um, we, we do a really great job of that but part of that includes everybody having their own opinion about what tool works best um, and, and using all of those tools to manage our day-to-day -day work. Um, so those products run on a foundation of more than 100,000 hosts all over the world uh, in four major regions, and they span across to Azure, AWS, and Adobe data centers. My team uh, is part of a larger organization that provides core central shared services for all of digital marketing. That includes things like DNS, Git, uh, DHCP. My team in particular provides security-related services, so things like LDAP, Splunk, um, Vault, obviously. So the opportunity for sprawl in situations like this is, is just off the charts. Um, there are so many different tools to use in the different clouds, different open source tools available. You can have one piece of information over here and a completely different piece of information over here. How do you keep those things in sync? In sync? And on top of that, we are constantly fighting the battle of, um, you know, people have so much time to do certain things, security requirements, compliance requirements across all these different industries that we have to abide by uh, make it difficult for our operational staff to, to kind of keep up sometimes. Uh, so our team philosophy is that we take on the brunt of the security and compliance requirement work, but we make sure our services are easy to consume, are flexible, uh, so that other teams can spend a lot of the time focusing on the customer um, on the operational side. So we're always looking for tools that, like I said, are flexible, are easy to use, have a REST API. REST API is key because everybody has different configuration management tools, everybody has processes they follow. Um, we want to make sure that those things are also simple to deploy, so any market we pop up in, um, we, we can be ready to go in, in a matter of hours with, our, with the services that we provide. So the choice was simple from our perspective. We've had tools that are um, industry leaders in secret management um, deployed at different parts of Adobe. Um, Vault Enterprise was the clear decision for a lot of different reasons. Um, it's great to see the message today that um, ha how agnostic these tools are, how many different places they fit into, um, and, and Vault is obviously no exception to that. So we have clusters deployed 
in four major regions across the globe. Each of those regions has three, uh, at least three vault clusters, one in AWS, one in Azure, and one in an Adobe data center. And those are all linked together by an underlying network fabric. If you have questions about that um, later on, please feel free to talk to me. Um, this has done a number of things for us that have just been fantastic. Uh, a couple years ago when I started working at Adobe, we had a, a secret, a, a privileged account password rotation process that would take sometimes two to three hours every time we would rotate the password. With the implementation of Vault um, across the globe and, and some updates to those processes, we've cut that down to about 30 seconds every time we rotate those passwords. Uh, and when you're talking about thousands of hosts, tens of thousands of hosts, that's a huge deal. Um, not only that, we've integrated that with our, um, our Bastion host solution so that you can do privilege escalation. Again, this is all super easy to do because of the flexible REST API. Um, and then whether our, our users are accessing from Southeast Asia and Azure or US East One and AWS or an Adobe data center, Everything will be the same. It's all standard. There's no having to guess what's going to happen in any given region based on, on, on what you're pulling, right? So, um, so standardization has been key. Replication in Vault Enterprise has been key to our deployment. Uh, and then, of course, our, our auditors and our security people are super giddy about the information that gets provided in the audit logs. Um, there, are, there are so many positive things that we've seen um, just in the four or five months that we've had uh, Vault Enterprise deployed to production. Uh, my marriage has improved. My kids respect me now. Thank you. It's a fantastic product. I, I can't say enough good things about it. Um, later on today, uh, 520, I believe, Chandler Alfin, our, our primary Vault deployment engineer and uh, manager of that service, will be speaking on track A, so please you know, come by and see his presentation, come talk to us, ask us questions. We love to answer questions. Um, thank you for the opportunity to be here, and I'll uh, welcome Marmont back on the stage. So. <laughs>